What's going on, everybody? This your boy, DC, host of the With The Shit Podcast. I want to thank y'all for listening. If you could, go to the Facebook page, With The Stuff Podcast. Become a member of the crew. Also, you can hit us up on Instagram, With The Shit underscore podcast. Catch us on iHeart and everywhere else. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the show. Yo, what the business is? You already know what time it is. Time for what the shit. Let me get my crew in here because they somewhere. Uh, there's that guy. What up? What uh, up? What up? This guy show. He was up here early. My man was here at seven forty-five. Yeah. He said, "Slow yeah. be damned." I'm coming to work early today. I'm coming to, to work early to today. Of the week. Man, uh, I'm trying to get that free move. Oh yeah, guys. Tonight's show is sponsored by Sweet Rick's Peak Meat. If you like meat, you ain't never had meat. You had two meats in your face. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> I was trying to get through that. I was trying to get through that without laughing. Uh, well, that's a, that's we, the new commercial. Uh, before we uh, we got a guest tonight. I'm so excited. This man uh, had a killer ass 2022. You know what I mean, on the map, me. everywhere you can go. If you was there, he was there, and he probably beat you there twice. Uh, but before we get to that. I want to ask everybody how their day was, but I got to get something off my chest. So I'm going to do a little get it off my chest a little early. I know I was supposed to start with some news and notes and that, but it's been one of them days. So I went to work 7 o'clock this morning. I was supposed to be there at 8.30, but today we had a dude coming in to fix a truck. Tell me why this motherfucker backed into the garage door with it going down and broke my garage door in my, in my warehouse for five hours. I couldn't get no mm. trucks in or out. <laughs> Mm. Sounds fun. Yo, sounds sound, like you awesome. sound like you ain't had to do shit for five hours. Right. Hey, sounds that, that's ne- fun. That's, ne- that's neither here nor there. We ain't talking about me. Uh, <laughs> we ain't talking about that shit. You sound like you had an easy breezy day, nigga. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all missing Stop the point. Playing. Y'all missing the point. The fact easy of the breezy matter cover is, girl, face ass missing nigga. the point. So I was in my, I was in my office, chilling. My Chris flashing green. What the hell going no on? Playing the Xbox. Oh, my oh. boy got that Obama over there. Yeah. He went incredible hard. That motherfucker was flashing green as fuck. But no. <laughs> so I'm in my office chilling. I go go talk to my customer service people. I hear boom, bang, pow. Shh. I'm like, wait a minute. What the fuck is that? Something ain't right. I walk back there, the fucking garage door, the bottom that flipped, the, the outside was on the inside, flipped up and on the top of the truck. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
What the this fuck motherfucker this proceeds going, to get out the truck. I'm like, what the fuck happened? He was like, uh, I talked the door <laughs> down. It looked like it was up in my rearview mirror. I said, nigga, how the fuck? And then you back the truck up. You back it in, my nigga. What'd you do? Press the button, run in the truck to see if you could beat the time? Like, how the fuck do you go in when the motherfucker coming down? <laughs> well, on behalf hours. of my trucking brothers. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. He said, no, no, no. That's, no, that's, no, that's, no, not, no, that's no, what we not, no, what we not doing. That. What we not doing. Because this nigga proceeded to want to use the bathroom. He want to proceed to use the bathroom. He wanted to try to strike conversations like ain't shit happened. Nigga, you broke a door. My nigga, get the fuck out. Like, why are you still here? Uh, oh, y'all ain't taking his information? Hell yeah, he took his information. That nigga, ain't paying for that shit. Now, and fix, my, the, and fix the other truck for free. But it get better. It get better. It get better. So now the door is like stuck in the middle. So like the bottom is up and it, and it shit's down. So these motherfuckers like, well, if we put some plastic over the door, we got to secure it. I said, nigga, who the fuck is putting plastic up? <laughs> so they call the landlord. The landlord dude come in. Shady motherfucker. He's like, well, there's nothing I can do. But if we get the bottom down and got some plastic in the truck, we can put the plastic up. I said, cool, man. Get the shit down. He put it down. I walk back in my office. I come back. They're like, yeah, he left some plastic for you. I said, nigga, time the fuck out. Uh-huh. I'm supposed to climb my ass up eight feet oh, yeah. and put the fucking plastic up. Day. You had that day. Okay. I put the pl- I'm getting ready to put the plastic up. A motherfucking garage door people show up. Mm. I jumped down off the ladder. I said, fuck this shit, I'm out. I went and got lunch, drunk some coffee, sat in my office with the door locked for the rest of the day. So that's how my day went. Mind you, all this happened before I had my first cup of coffee, so I was on edge like a motherfucker. That's, that's, what, that's, what, that, that's what that message was you put in the chat. That's what that message was. I'm like, oh, that's why. You, you, had, you had time. I had nothing but time. I can spam people. I was out here doing Nigerian print schemes. Hello, my brother. If you give me $40, I will guarantee you get back 1000 uh i am locked in and currently locked in a jail right now uh i need to get out they said they're going to send the lions and the tigers uh please help send help now you sound like you from afghanistan not africa it doesn't matter i don't care this shit happened (laughs) uh but no how was your day What's going on with y'all? Oh man, well, mm-hmm. enough about me and my bullshit wasn't it as eventful as yours (laughs) right he had a fucking i had a spectacular day. day a day it was a wednesday too Oh my god. I got humped on a hump day. Like this motherfucker. Well, at least it's hump day. You're gonna get a oh shit. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> Wait. Moving on. No, he leaned it. Why, right, did, it look, why <laughs> did it look like he seen something that he's like, oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> no, I did see something. That shit I humped on the hump day, it just fucked up my brain. <laughs> none, none of that went it's obviously she out here in motherfucking like, New York City New York City <laughs> overlooking Central this how DC Park. was at work <laughs> and I was in my office chilling and sipping and we're like fuck these motherfuckers hey look man well every, I every, say every, I every sip it. every sip was fuck these motherfuckers I want to leave at 745 right. now this shit all happened before 10 he got there at 7 30. Move one truck in, move one truck out. Boom. Cool. Sweet. I think this one better. But anywho, uh, I got some news <laughs> I want to talk about. Uh, so speaking of fucked up days, apparently 21 Savage was named the greatest rapper alive. Hmm? Yeah. Where the fuck you seen that at? Huh? Where you seen that at? Uh, don't ask Might my sources. Be. But uh the word on the street is that's what's going on. You Kill know, your it, sources. I, I wish I could. Um, Shoot them bitches. Speaking now. of shooting, Shamar Moore had a baby and a lot of women just went crazy. I don't know why. Yeah, he might be 63 or something. He's 62, but you know, <laughs> it's neither here nor there. Just uh, now, just now having the Babino out here. Yeah. And I bet it was a whole bunch of black bitches who was mad. No, let me stop. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> Ain't Netflix, with his shit. Netflix uh, <laughs> said y'all got three weeks to get y'all shit together before they start cutting motherfuckers off. Uh, <laughs> they's not playing with you niggas who out here sharing shit. They want y'all niggas to pay them their money properly. 
Fuck hey, how the fuck they gonna do this? How to how so co CEO? How to co CEO? Hey, they say. said if if your shit over here in LA and your shit also playing in Boston, something ain't right. We got a problem. How, how to, how what, about, what about what about the truckers though? What if I'm on the road though? How the coach hey, CEO gonna Netflix. say they've never canceled a popular show? And I looked at him like, "Bitch, stop lying." You Netflix said they never canceled a yeah. popular show. <laughs> Speaking House. of getting canceled, uh, I don't know if y'all seen this, but Erica Badu and Puma Curry, who was her daughter, was out here showing nothing but the cheeks and the truth. Uh, and a lot of people got pissed. I don't know why. How can you be a grown man and you get mad at some ass? That's but how they mad? And that's a grown ass woman with her mama. She's not a child, so. What the fuck is the problem? Uh, I don't know. Speaking of no next, uh, Rich Dollar's daughter oh. shot at her uh, ex boyfriend because her daddy ain't got no neck. So I mean, wait, what? Wait. <laughs> I, I am so confused. Bro. What? Say yeah. that again. Her daddy ain't got no neck, so he's cheap. Yeah, I guess. No, no. Start from the beginning. Who did what to what? Rich, rich, rich dollars. You know, rich from Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, yeah, with no neck. Um, uh-huh. He looked like a cartoon character that you draw at five and you think that's how your imagination look and it's just head and shoulders. That's how that's how he looked. He looked why like are you talking about old. him? Uh why not? Um, but he, his he daughter, looked like he looked like big head. He looked that's what he looked like. He looked like big head. He looked like all out of imaginary home uh, pets. <laughs> but um, mm. oh, his that's daughter. all my news and notes. Um mm. that's, your shit was trash. I'm gonna need you to try again next week. No, that was good notes. That was good news. There's nothing good about that. Why not? 21 Savage, the best rapper. I don't even know why you even thought that. that I don't even know crazy. why you even said, oh, my Jesus. What the shit? I don't even what know mean? if I want to continue. He the is the best rapper. I think I'm out. After the Drake collabo, they said he was one of the best alive. I don't I know. Think, I, I think, think after the Drake collabo, <laughs> DC, can you do something for me? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I think I'm an exit stage left because what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you, you're saying... You saying this is how he looked, man? Is is that's what they said on the song? Boom DC. singing that part, so I guess Boom the one in there twerking and shit. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 that's hey. what we look like. Oh yeah, oh that's what, shit, that's what it's dollars. <laughs> Yo, big head right there, it's like that. Just Yo. muscle, muscle. Oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, oh. What the fuck? Chris almost showed us his porn site. You seen that? He was like, "Oh wait, hold on. That's the OnlyFarmers.com." Oh, uh, but let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's get to the reason why we here. First of all, there's the man, the myth, the legend, Crazy Eight, the Great. Um, What's going on? Was that I, want, I want a year like you had. Let's start with Crazy that. Eight, like yours, twenty twenty two. I thought Stella. I did some shit last Stella. year. I thought I was doing everything I could until I seen y'all itinerary. Y'all was in Chicago, VA. Most rewarding thing, I, the, the biggest gift I got from 2020-22 was uh, insomnia. Wait, he said, wait, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to get his ass. He's, he, he fucked up in his first two sentences. The only thing I got from 2020-22 that's a long that I don't even think we're gonna be a, nowhere. It was, it was a long year for him. That was a long ass it's a yeah. Long year period. That's a long yeah, year. yeah, yeah. That yeah, that it's was a long year. We barely, we barely <laughs> remember 21. So he said 2020, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, First of all, bullies beware. A man don't play with y'all. Um, no, nah, we don't tolerate that at all. Tell it, tell it. And, and, tell I, it. and I appreciate that because I've seen you big advocation on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere you are, um, making sure that bullies know what time it is when you involve. Right. Um, but there's a reason that you, there's a song. Take my hand. Please explain this song to people because it's I heard it and it moved me. You did the um stream spaces, which yeah. was dope. Your set was dope, bro. If y'all haven't went on YouTube and seen stream spaces, his set was fucking phenomenal. Oh, mm-hmm. um, but this there's two songs that I loved off that set. I mean, I loved them all. Let's not let's let me not um say that first. But 
Take My Hand was so phenomenally moving. Um, please explain this song for people who have not had the 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 opportunity to hear this song. Um, Take My Hand, we we made that, me and um, my best friend Tino, uh, we, we made that song because <clears throat> I'm a survivor of bullying, like I almost lost my life to it. You know what I'm saying? Like in the second grade, somebody tried to stab me to death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, growing up with that level of fear and anxiety, the biggest part about it is like feeling like you all by yourself. And as I, you know what I'm saying, decided not to die, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Life right. and things like that. I realized I was here for a reason, and that reason is to make sure that nobody else feels as alone as I did when I was going through that. You know what I'm saying? Um, because most people that's being bullied are either ashamed to tell somebody or afraid because they don't know um what'll come of it. You know what I'm saying? There's really no yeah. safe space or no safe area to um kind of let somebody know, like, all right. I don't feel safe or somebody, you know what I'm saying? They're ganging up on me, whatever the case may be. I used to get chased through the school, through the schoolhouse, outside the schoolhouse. I jumped all type of, I used to get through all, go through all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So um, when I may take my hand, not only is it a parallel to an anime that I love called My Hero Academia, yep, but yep. it also is my declaration to anybody that feels like they have nobody then just take my hand because I understand like what you've been through. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. I am you. I was you. And I'm also a person that has survived it and can show you what it looked like on the other side of it. And also, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and as far as like sound and scope goes, I was like, man, I want a song that's as powerful as all of the light should have been. Mm. Oh. And, um, and I just wanted my version of that, but I wanted it to actually just mean something to whoever would, you know what I'm saying, give it a listen, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's really how the song came about, man. And I got a lot of good people to get behind it. My best friend Tino, of course, like I said, he um, he produced the track, engineered the track, recorded it, ma mixed it, mastered it. You know, Tino's a kind of a jack of all trades, but we put this song together and ironically, the very first verse of the song I wrote when I was like 19, 18, 19. Mm. That song wasn't ready to come out or ready to happen until the year 2020, you know what I'm saying? So I knew it was going to, you know, be for people like me, but I had to, you know what I'm saying, create the platform in order to get it out. So, you know, that's, that's really how Take My Hand came about, man. So I make sure every show I'll stop mm -hmm. the set and I'll make sure I explain it. I'll make sure people understand why this song is important. Why I will always, no matter what I'm rapping about, no matter where I'm at, I'm gonna always be for that reason and that reason only, you know what I'm saying? And um, you should just you should just see the crowd reactions no matter where I go when I do that song, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I started the year off, I started last year off doing Bright Winter Fest in Cleveland and people were in the crop week now mind you it's february it's freezing <laughs> but the more i did the song the more people gravitated toward the stage and we had people out there crying and oh. hugging each other and you know what i'm saying they're really getting into the song man and when i wrote the song that's really all i could ever envision man so to see something you you conceptualize from the ground up manifest in front of you into hundreds or thousands of people is crazy and i just i really can't wait till the world gets a hold of that song because it means so much to me i'm gonna tell you right now uh i'm i'm, I'm playing it um actually if i could yeah, I, could we, I don't want to take it from story space because that's the thing um but you definitely i definitely i, I gotta get a set together i gotta get some musicians on get it set together and just do some live music. And I need you to do that song as a part of it. Because when I heard this song and you finished with this song, you know, it was, it was one of your, one of your last songs on that set. And I was like, damn, I teared up a little bit. Cause it, it was, it was one of them songs where when you listen to the words and you've been through something like that, 
it hits you a little different. And that's the thing about music I like. I like music that hits you in a spot where you be like, okay, it's just music. But then you listen and you like, fuck, I can relate. Or yeah. fuck, mm-hmm. this really is something that resonates in my soul. And that was one of them songs that really just phenomenal. Yeah. I, I got to say, bro, like that song is fucking amazing. I can oh. I can honestly say seeing it seeing them in person perform I seen I seen it like two or three times last year and watching him perform live and when I say seeing that crowd's reaction firsthand and knowing like yeah this there's is a lot of us that in some form have dealt with that and that it speaks right. in so many volumes that's why it's it's such an intense song and it was just like yo doesn't matter how tough you are, whatever it is, you went through some kind of pain, and that song will walk you through it. The, the most power, the part, more powerful part about that song and performing it to me is the chant, the chant, and the call and response portion of the song was the part of the song I got most excited about when writing it because I saw the crowd in my mind, mm. like yeah, we about to have stadiums and shit, like going crazy on this part right here because it's like it's so empowering because like the whole the whole parallel to the anime my hero academia for those that don't know is the number one hero at the time all might gave his power to a weaker person who wasn't supposed to be a hero to then become the greatest hero after him or whatever so the whole concept of the song is as i'm performing this and you're receiving it you're receiving my power to make sure that you have enough power to carry on. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. crowd gets the I'm gonna give it with all my might, and then you just hear a million people. Like you could cut the song off and just hear people going crazy, going crazy. Ooh, we check out goose pimples because that part that part got me too. <laughs> this this is this is a this is how well designed this album is because it opens with Ultra Instinct, which. Which no, we no, we not, we not, we not, we not touching that yet because that <laughs> that that song, <laughs> yo, exactly. We not, let's 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 hold off on that one because Alter because Instinct, that, yeah. What about these songs, yo? It's it's the <laughs> one that brings it in, songs, but it, but when you go to take my hand, it's like Ultra Instinct grabs you, but take my hand literally holds you. Yeah, I from just because, and I'm gonna be honest, I I've never heard it. You know what I'm saying? So just listening to you guys talk about it, of course, now I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go see what's going on. You have to. You need to. You know what I'm saying? I gotta. But even from just listening to you guys talk about it, I have to put my son onto it. Because my son is like you guys the anime, the Marvel, the the nerdy nerds. I'm gonna just call y'all the nerdy nerds. Yeah. You know? And know. and you know, he I know that's why I said I'm just call y'all. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. And you know, he's on that level and I'm just trying to get him to different things because he's he's um different. He's not my child, he's somebody else's child because I'm me and he's him. And it's just really like it's, it throws you off. No, honestly, people really did, was like, that's your mom? I'm like, the fuck <laughs> them? Am I that bad? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> but he's always been like super proper and you see other children that's just ghetto as hell and, he, and people wonder where he came from. I'm like, that nigga was born in the hood. I don't know where <laughs> he came from. But, you know, so, but just, just put him on to, you know, music that will inspire him because I can tell your music will definitely touch him and he he's not a yeah. rap person so for him to be able to interact you know like feel it and stuff in it for it to be rap say i need him to get a little bit in there get god damn because he'd be like yeah he heard uh such and such i'm like Nigga, i don't know who the fuck that is but sure you got it i'm like is they white <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole reason i exist though right yeah there was nobody like me to tell me it was okay to be me. Right, right. So to if I'm able to just lead by example or just by sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just play because the the music ain't, you know what I'm saying? I won't ever pretend like it's cookie cutter or, you know, it's right. 
rainbows because of my past i got way more of a, a edgier aggression to a lot of my lyricism as mm-hmm. well the root of it so you got some fuck these bitches in that shit then is what you're saying nah man you know what i'm saying like it's, it's, more, <laughs> it's, it's so always like try me I, I i wish you would try me like you know what i'm saying because i, I can't where yeah. i had no self-confidence or no self-esteem yeah so through music i built that up and i dare you to try to take it from me again i dare you they definitely don't want us as black people going on ultra instinct they don't want that right. Right. so since boom wants to bring it up and chris wants to bring it up <laughs> we, that, that ain't the really that ain't the one i really want to bring up but i got to because god damn you talking motherfucking snapping on a song? I don't mean just like one verse. I mean the whole fucking song is just snap. Like the yeah. the the fuck the delivery, <laughs> the energy, the the cadence, the style, the swag on this song just drips so much that I, every time I hear it, it feels brand new. Like I don't put it on like every story that I featured you on. I think I had a verse of that song on there somewhere. I'm like, y'all motherfuckers, I don't care if y'all get tired of this shit. Y'all gonna get this ultra instinct energy. Is this shit right here? I did not expect that song to live the way it's been living. Like, no, that motherfucker got his own life. <laughs> I does. see Ultra Instinct walking down the street the other day. He was just like, What's up? It's the well one of, Shut it's, up. It's, one of, it's one of the oldest songs on the album. Um before we even had an album or knew we was putting one together, I put Ultra Instinct out. Um, Dragon Ball Super, the anime, like it ran for like 131 episodes or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. I was so excited because it was like so long since the anime had been out that when it ended, I was like, I ain't really ready for Dragon Ball to be over again. I just got it back. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, I want to make a song. So hopefully let dragon ball live a little longer you know what i'm saying until they uh, figure out it's living whatever they gonna yeah. do. and we dropped that in 2018. Um, and it still story, rocks the story <laughs> about that though was like so the day it came out i was like at work i was working at us bank at the time so i'm at work at my cube i'm queuing up all the you know what i'm saying all the posts and stuff like that getting ready to drop it at one o'clock at 12 35 we got a call to let us all know we was getting let go. <laughs> wow. So as I was dropping this song that I didn't know would take me into the next couple of years, I was losing what I thought was, you know what I'm saying, my my livelihood with the job and everything. And it's just like, it's so funny how life works. You, you, you hit the nail on the proverbial head, bro, because that's crazy because this song, I, I feel like that song was made for that moment. Like mm-hmm. as you was dropping it, life was telling you, like, bro, we about to take you somewhere with this song <laughs> that this bank ain't going. <laughs> it was crazy. Like, so like maybe I want to say maybe two weeks before that, I had just got a raise. Like mm. everything was like set up to be kind of trying to kind of gravy for me at the job or whatever. And then like right out of nowhere, like, nope, we good. We don't we no longer need this facility. And you know, y'all uh Y'all will figure it out. Peace. That's oh, what that's, that's, that's what this episode told us before. He said. <laughs> yeah, right. That's enough to make a nigga go ultra instinct right. What the <laughs> fuck you know? <laughs> I'm tearing shit up, man. <laughs> that's just me, man. I took my 401k money and I put it all in the ultra instinct. Like advertisement, uh, um, merch, uh, traveling. I ended up going to Command Con after the first, first time ever that year. Um, that's how I ended up with the sand armor on the guy, you know, so I met him there. Uh-huh. Um, um, yeah, so just, I put everything I had into it. Like, you know, so I'm talking like $50, $60 a week on, on, on advertisement through Instagram and Facebook and doing shows and shooting a video and holding, you know what I'm saying, video screenings and being anywhere I could be. And at this time, I hadn't even hit the con scene yet. I was still performing around, you know what I'm saying, the underground Cleveland scene, being the only guy with my material in an urban hip-hop market. So everybody else want to be thugged out and, you know what I'm saying, they 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 banging and they doing this, they doing that. I'm doing Kamehameha's on, on stage and shit <laughs> and still making a name. So it was just, it was, it was dope, man. So, so you said 
Ultra Instinct was released in 2018, right? Yeah. Okay, so because we didn't officially meet, I didn't officially meet you until until 2020. Right. Oh, and that was on that was on Circle of Nerds on Nerds on Ice. Right. And that's when I was introduced to you, and then that's when I was introduced to Nerdcore, and I'm like, what the hell is Nerdcore? <laughs> and after that, I was I was locked. I was locked in, and, and I'm like, yo. So I was already on it, and I'm like, yo, this this dude here, he, I'm telling you, <laughs> he with it. So it's just yeah, like, that's so, yeah, right there. Yeah, so when I still <laughs> hear it, you know, and, and I, you've told it before, I still hear it, and like DC said, like this, this song is a, this album is a whole anthem, and that's that's just like there is there hasn't been a song there. I was like, mm, I can skip this one and come back to it. Like, no, this. It's just heat after heat. Thank you. After heat. And and I don't know where D's gonna take it, but I know one of my favorites is is Big Man on Campus. I appreciate it. <laughs> Big, Man Man, Big Man on Campus it, for for several reasons. <laughs> I like the name of that. Can we explain elaborate a little bit more? Yeah, let's talk about that one. So Big Man on Campus is my one piece anime themed like track or whatever but big man on campus following because like the whole album is what my life would be like if it were an anime so it's in yeah. story form from no top to, top to bottom i actually got a japanese narrator and it, and i'm doing the english translations throughout the album so in one ear you'll hear the, the japanese you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and then for me translated into english to kind of carry that narrative from ah. So, in the Brilliant. story, exactly in right. The story, that, that shit is interesting. Keep, keep going. <laughs> so, in the story <laughs> of the album, there's a song called "Never Back Down," which is me standing up to my bully for the very first time. Okay. After you've whooped your bully's ass, you feel like the big man on campus. You know what I'm saying? So, 100%. true. <laughs> so, yes. yeah. you may never lie, coach. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So when you hear that song is more so about me just declaring my my confidence to the world gotcha. you know it's it's all about acknowledging the fact that damn i actually might be pretty dope <laughs> <laughs> might be an understatement brother I uh, think you're doing a little some some it's funny yeah. because there's a piece in never back down where you hear you hear i hear you saying i told you to leave me and then you hearing you hear the punch you hear, the sonic, you hear the sonic rings. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, Not the sonic <laughs> rings. Yeah. He's like, he knocked the rings out of them. Tino surprised me. Tino surprised me with that last. That was like a last minute edit before we submitted the album. He was like, uh, he was like, yeah, man, let me a genius. This. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm listening to the skit. Um, and as the skit is playing or whatever, the punch happens. I'm like, all right, the punch cool, but then you hear the sonic rings drop in the back. And you, I'm like, oh shit! Oh yeah, we keeping that in there. We keeping that in there. That's, <laughs> that's dope. Then, that's dope. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so, so real quick, I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I hope I. Phase I... out. Um. Then you go into you know. So you have you hear somebody in the back of the crowd like, oh, so you feel like the mm -hmm. big man? Huh? Yep. Like, yeah. Ah, yep, yep. Yep. Okay transitions into big man on campus and it's just that that feel good record you know what i'm saying it's this all about it. really feeling confident feeling good you got your people with you because i mean it's basically like i said every every song on the album i parallel to an anime that i love so i'm able to find parallels from my life to anime all the time um and one piece is about the crew it's about you know what i'm saying being a them 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 boys <laughs> you know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you hear that song when you hear the come on you know what i'm saying it, it's just it's that it gets you hype number it, time it, it gets you hype stop music like you know, <laughs> like i hear i hear that song in the anime every time and i'm like yeah it's going down <laughs> right. it's it's always it's about to go down it's going down like <laughs> uh the netflix adaptation so i, I want to see if they they decide to do something with it oh that oh yeah, I forgot about the, the live action. Yeah. yeah about the um the music supervisor um on IMDB and um found his email, started uh -oh. shooting stuff, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what's up. Initiative. Look, 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 I like that. Ooh, I love it. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. <laughs> look at this. 
Somebody come and look at this. No, no, no. Look at this. No, you DC. Somebody look at Boomer because that nigga was just in broad daylight. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That nigga is in a tunnel. He went underground or something. All I oh, see is shit. the Nike. In the upper room. All you see, and then he black as fuck because all you see is the Nike. <laughs> and glass glare. So we're oh. might be in trouble with this. I don't care. Uh, I got 16 seconds. I want y'all, y'all got to hear this real quick. 16 give seconds. It him, give, give it to him. Real quick, a little hot 16 seconds real quick. Look, yes, on this instrumental hour, show you who's the best in this tournament of power. Now one one force rumbling the cowards. If I had to put it plain, it is crumbling the towers. Wowzers, feel like I've been holding back for hours, but you couldn't keep me cooped if he was kicking it with Bowser. I'm raising the intensity potentially a thousand. Yeah, I'm and when I'm quick. This motherfucker, I'm switching. I'm yeah. going back to Streamyard here. I Stream come. Yard. <laughs> That's why I ain't switching, DC. That's why I ain't switching. Many chances, I'm... man. Streamyard was good to me, yo. That's yeah. why I switch it. <laughs> what, was, what were you playing? Which one was you playing? Man, it was off the instinct. Man. <laughs> that shit was like. Man, that was off the instinct, man. All you heard was. And if you on your phone, you not going to hear it. Uh, you know what? Y'all just got to go find it yourselves. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm going to pull, pull it up. I'm going to pull it up. But you know what? That's what happens when you try to get people a treat. Guy was like, nope, y'all, he got, he got to go to the source and get it themselves. Uh, Tell them just take their ass to YouTube and search. So, real right, quick, you also, want, you if you want, guys want to wanna, call wanna in share. and talk to the man, there's a line on the phone. Uh, there's a line on, on the phone. phone. Yeah. God damn. <clears throat> I got an official. Hey, call so can right. I let me let me ask you a question one time, man? Let me ask Are you, you out of the dark? No, nah, man, hold on. He man. had to turn that inside <laughs> light on. <laughs> he came out. He came out. <laughs> chill out, chill out, man. So he's trying to give me cancer, so I'm, I'm gonna chill on that. No but no, nah, let me ask you a question though, real quick. So, man, um, how do you feel about? Because I don't know how you like. I, I'm, I'm sure you're not doing it for the free because you put money into it. But how you how do you feel about like um? You know the streaming and the streaming services and the and the background deals and if you're doing it on your own as far as all the streaming coming to you or are you trying to get deals like with other streaming companies or like how you go about that the name of the game is the name of the game is partnerships right uh, right as a as an indie artist yeah it's a lot more work but the payoff is way bigger you right. know what I'm i don't owe nobody a cut out of my shit except for who actually worked on something you know what I mean? So <clears throat> the streams are trash um, because of the percentage per, it's like a, a fraction of a penny per play. Yeah. Like two cent, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like nine, ten. It's like nine, ten. It's like when you go to the yeah, gas, you like get the gas, it's like $4.09. Yeah. It's yeah. Mm-hmm. I've seen that. But um, in the same sense, right? The goal to suggest increase your stream count. Because at this point, I figured out how to, you know, I've tapped into residual income. Like my quarterly, my quarterly statements for streams and stuff, rather they rather big or not, is the thing that nobody taught me in school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody taught me to shoot for residual income. It's just go to work, come home, retire, and die. Right. <laughs> that, that's absolutely true. They don't they don't teach you about residual or credit. Carry none on. None of that. Uh-huh. Residual passive income, none of that. Passive right? nothing. Right. So right now, man, um, partnerships is the, is the name of the game. So if I can partner with, let's say, a foundation or something like that, or if I can partner with an up-and-coming uh, beverage company or mm. something like that, somebody who needs some like fresh audience to help launch something, I get a bigger stake. I even get a chance at ownership and some things, you know what I'm saying? Brand deals. Okay. All that stuff is available if you, you know what I'm saying, you you get yourself out there enough or you just willing to shake some hands and stuff like that. Um, on top of that, even if my streams is trash, if I go do a show, I get paid for the show up front. Right. Um, <laughs> back while, back, I, back while I'm at the show, I'm selling my merch. That right. money's going to pocket, you know what I'm saying? No pocket. And that becomes that reoccurring revolving income because mm-hmm. now if I'm selling enough merch and I'm doing enough shows on a regular basis, the merch is now paying for itself. That's not coming out of pocket anymore. You know what All I'm right. saying? Damn. Like I'm at my LLC owner. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, 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 Talk I your my, shit, King. Talk your I, shit. 
entertainment company. You know what I'm saying? So I'm on my own entertainment company. I'm an artist signed to that entertainment company. Um, I can write. That's it. I can do. Oh, oh shit. Oh I don't even know that like rappers rappers need 1099s too. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So, For real. So at the end of it, you know what I'm saying? So like that's really that's really how I maintain. Like I'm still at, you know, my day job or whatever because music only pays some of the bills now. But the, right, more yeah. out, the more stages I hit, the more hands I shake, the more elbows I, you know what I'm saying, I rub. It's coming. I ain't worried about none of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I got all you, all you need is a Drake feature. That's it. You get you a Drake feature and it's over with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> so yeah, that's really that's really how you survive the indie game. It's not, you know, it's not for the faint of heart, because trust me. Indeed. It's a like, lot of work. Yeah. I was out here like after losing the job, after like dropping all chance thing and losing the job. I was self-employed, or if that's what you can call it, <laughs> for like a year and a half, and always looking at an eviction notice on my door. Like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. still pushing yeah. through to, you know what I'm saying, to make it happen. So it's like, it's, it's not for the faint of heart, but the payoff is great. You know, big risk, big reward, basically. Of course. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That That's a testimony right there. But that, I, that whole I, shit with the eviction and shit. People don't realize that shit. They they look at yeah, niggas they, look at, they, right look at, they look at the they look at it as motherfuckers came up overnight. A lot of these people that that's that's hot been grinding for a long fucking time mm-hmm. and going through that same oh, you know, those same similar oh, my life. Uh, going through the same similar situations where they don't know how they're gonna eat, they don't know how they're gonna pay their bills. If they got children, they don't know you know what to do with their kids or how they gonna fuck them kids. Pay. Well, I'm an advocate of fuck them kids, but I'm just saying <laughs> it's real life shit, you know. But so that you saying that will give somebody more insight on what's really yeah I to mean, come I've been, when you doing this shit independently, especially. I've been at this since 2007. Oh, you know, 2007. It's 2023 right now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just now getting into a position where I got some wiggle room or some leverage to my name. Right. It's you. You old. That. Yes. Yeah. Damn. Especially in rap years. Yeah. You want, did you want I'm that fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm oh, fucking you with you. Hold on. Yeah, I got it. Um, Keep the book. In rap years, we getting up here. You know right. Yeah. You know, so, it, you know, dog years for us is seven years to our one. What's rap years to our one? So, it's almost the same. Damn it. Shit. <laughs> like, oh, I'd like to ask this question. What do you think is the rap year to one actual year? Yeah, like Shit. it's supposed to be a young man's game, right? Right. Nobody sees any head unless they put at least ten years in. Mm-hmm. And like we mm-hmm. we got we got some fluke successes, and we got some, you know we got we got industry plants. We got a lot of stuff that happens, you know. what I'm saying on on different scales for different people, but right. the the ones that you know what I'm saying really maintain once they break got at least ten. Before getting in, so y'all saying, so y'all saying the person can't come out right now, thirty five years old, rapping about how tired he is and these badass motherfucking but, kids and him. raising all these goddamn kids. this nigga, mute him. Nobody said that. Bro. <laughs> That's not what we're saying. I'm, I'm saying, saying that. that shit is I'm, I'm that saying shit, no. that shit will blow. If a nigga come out right now rapping about Look these badass him. kids and these ungrateful ass baby yeah. mamas and these ungrateful ass I'm women, I'm over here clicking his mic like I can blow. mute him. I'm trying to click his mic I like I can lose him. <laughs> that shit went blow. It, real sh- the, it would, but the, the secret behind it is budget. Yeah. You, it, right. you can bring it to the industry really quick with the right budget. Like, yeah. a lot of yeah, people yeah. don't know. Like, we talking figures. Just to throw this out there to anybody that didn't know. Every song you hear on the radio, if you hear it on the radio a lot. They pay they for put, it. They put at least 30 grand into into for money. Sure. For sure. Ooh. And that's, sure. that's that's low end. That's one track. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let's, talk, let's talk about people like Drake that got at least three or four songs in rotation, no yeah. matter where. You go. Yeah. He done paid about a hundred, two hundred thousand. That pay for play is is real live shit. Yeah, yeah for real. They, they, yeah. A lot of them don't understand that. Mm-hmm. Like you can't actually pay the radio station to do it, so you got to do it in these other ways. Like right. Sponsorship. Right. But I, I just think I just yeah. think that we too old. <laughs> 
we yeah, tired. We tired of hearing about all this gym stuff. This snorting dope. This popping Molly. We are grown as fuck. I want to hear about yeah, a grown ass man I, I raising this kid. Now. A grown ass woman. You know, I'm just saying. That's all that's out. Wait a minute. Though. A nigga no, tried no, no, that. That nigga tried that when he was a step daddy. You ain't my dad. Shut up. You ain't my dad. Shut up. <laughs> That's not gonna work. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, we didn't give Sammy enough credit back then when he made that song. No, we, uh, we, we, we I'm gonna tell your mama. Tell my mama. I'm gonna tell your mama. Now motherfuckers are saying that in real life without background. Right. <laughs> but he ain't put enough creativity into that though. Yeah. Maybe no, because he was in the backwoods in that gone. video. Niggas was like, "Wait a minute, where these niggas live at?" Yeah, it was a lot of it was a lot going on in that video. It was, but, it, was it really was. But I want to I want to kind of touch on this whirlwind year you had last year, because um, you touched a lot of places. Like I got dizzy watching y'all. Like, every time I seen y'all story, y'all was somewhere new, and I was like, "These motherfuckers travel well." Um, <laughs> tell the people some because you you touched. Damn near you. I, I, I want to say I want to say you touched all the conventions this year, except for what maybe uh, we DreamCon. Didn't do, we didn't do we didn't do. Dragon no, you went Con. to DreamCon. Yeah, we yeah, didn't do like DreamCon Con and MomoCon. So two out of thirty. Shit, you 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 yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, I'll take two out of 30 I miss shit that's, that's a still a hey <laughs> and to be able to end the year uh doing a con in Chicago that was fluke because um in September by the time we made it to September uh Mega Ran came to Cleveland and um we was trying to get me on like on the show to, to open up for him and the venue itself was acting weird because uh, after the show I'm like back, like in the backstage area, like chopping it with Mega Ran. Like, yo, bro, like, what do I got to do to get on on this show when you come to Cleveland? He was like, yo, to be honest, I'm surprised you wasn't here. Like, if not you, who else? Like, you know. Uh, what I'm saying? <laughs> well, what the what do we do? I that I had to make it to you. You know Point me in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, so we we trying to work on that that moving in, but like the people that he brought some people with him, and out of that group of people that he brought with him. They had connections with a convention called Pocket Con in Chicago. They from Chicago, and um, just you know, networking. And I got a, a really, really, you know, what I'm saying, big up B in here. Um, Candy B cosplay for anybody. Else. Oh yes, I for, mm-hmm. my, you know what? I forgot. I was supposed to shout out CBM <laughs> Management. Uh, that's Candy B Management. Right. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, cause I told I told her I, I, I told her I was like you can jump off she's like no nah, I'm gonna let it. I ain't want to take it shine I was like but you you, you, you managed me now like you, I'm you telling you know she was really modest not. with it she I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if she stuck her head in the screen I wouldn't be surprised nah, but real talk though like if it wasn't for B being who she is like being able to talk Pushy. to people she's people with <laughs> like we was outside just chopping it or whatever and and somebody was like. Yo, you could even come through as press. Like, if y'all come through together, like, you know what I'm saying? It just the talking. Like, she had, she had people at the Mega Ran concert, like, pulling out their phones, networking and shit. Like, oh, she's definitely. That's dope. She's, she's, she's definitely. Yeah. Um, right. She's the mouthpiece. I'm telling shout you. Out, shout like, out to Kenny. Hey, um, so, other people to network at his show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was, is, that is amazing. Um, but man, like y'all, like the year you had last year, how does it feel to, like you, you did that some, you was on some big stages, man. Um, DreamCon ain't no small thing for people who don't know. That's a big thing. That's RDC world. Oh, uh, right. you know, that's, that's, that's not an easy ticket to get on. Yeah, you know right. I mean, you was so, there, bro. You, you like, I'm like, even talking about it, like, even when you know, I heard about it, I was like, damn, I ain't gonna never get him on the show now. Like, oh, <laughs> 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 he had to fight some conventions. Now he there touching that stage. Oh, man, I'm DC, what you say? He big now. I don't even yeah, know. He, he gonna love remember. us now, but no, <laughs> but, <damn. laughs> but we no, little peons no, in that no, one. No, but honestly, that's what I like about eight. My man is humble as hell. Like mm-hmm. I like we we like to see the growth. And like you said, you've been doing this for a long time. But the tenacity and just the humbleness, dog. Like you have done a lot. And uh nobody can take that away from you. But the, the stages you touched last year, bro, 
So far. Jesus, bro, like that to like that to some people that run you had last year. Motherfuckers retired. They like I've dubbed. All right, right, that's you know, it. Look, that's it. I, <laughs> that's don't think it. I can we, top that. I, you, I know can top that because I I know some things. Oh, um, to be completely honest, though, bro, like this everything I did in 2022 was supposed to happen in 2020. I'm behind schedule. I'm behind mm. my own. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what that's tough. That. You, that. You, that move was just me laying groundwork for me to build off of later. You know what I'm saying? To lock them in one year through so that the next year I got them locked in and I could focus on something that was different and just connect everything. Cause the goal is to be able to create a, however many city tour based off kind appearances and just, you know what I'm saying? Performances in just separate cities in in general. So 2020 when the album dropped, that short because I went on this hell of a press run. I was on everybody's shit. You ask Chris, I was on everybody's shit. Oh, uh, I seen it. I dude. seen it. If you had a professor <laughs> anything to do with being tired show promoting this album, I put that whole press run together by myself because the manager I had at the time wasn't wasn't man- yeah, yeah, yeah. You managing. I'm gonna say that when I when I say we I, when I see I, when I ran in the eight, I knew he was coming because he was performing at BlurryCon. So when when B and A came up, I was like, "What y'all doing later?" He's like, "Well, we sleeping here tonight, but then we getting right back on the road." Cause they to, they're like they was on the grind, and it just like we literally drove everywhere. And yeah, in the- <laughs> oh, trust me, I seen some of them uh, them uh, <laughs> road trip uh, yeah, the road time, trip chronicles. Because <laughs> I, I was like, man, but we, that's we but that's. In- <laughs> oh, y'all did actually. I seen some of them, but that, but that speaks to the dedication, though, because okay. a lot of motherfuckers ain't ain't doing that. They like if they not flying me out or this and that, I ain't going. I ain't going. Mm-hmm. The fact that y'all was like, "Fuck it," if we can get there by car, we there. My thing is just too like, don't nobody owe me shit yet. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I that's always been my mentality. I got to make it happen because I got to make it happen. Like I chose to do this. Then nobody, you know what I'm saying? Nobody mm-hmm. forced me to be a, a musician or an artist. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if, if I'm not getting flown out yet, that mean I ain't, I ain't put in enough work yet. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if my hotel ain't paid for, I still got some work to do. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's my mentality with it. And sure enough, as you know, we started putting in work, it's like, yo, Hey, how much is it to, for you to get here i give them a price they say okay before it used to be like you, you need to get paid time out time time out time out bro let me stop you right there okay <laughs> i'm gonna stop you right there because what you just said was a, a nice humble flex <laughs> you just said it was a nice humble flex but i ain't gonna let you i'm gonna put some little stank on it my nigga said when he show up and they ask did he tell them a price they don't bat an eyelash that's where you want to be that that is the work that you got to put in you can't tell them a fucking price and they laugh in your face like ah nigga, please Cause I've been oh, here. <laughs> hey, we all been. I'm still there. I ain't gonna lie to you, brother. I'm still there. I'm trying to get on your level. If I can get at least two cons under my belt, man, I'm just. I'm gonna say I know Aiden. He might let me in back door. <laughs> sweep up afterwards. <laughs> You're not sweep up afterwards. I'm that sorry, but a bobblehead. <laughs> my my father is a marine. All I know is 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 hard oh, work. Yeah. But that's yeah. and that's a lost art. Because people don't, and you said it earlier, people don't realize, like you said, the eviction notice, you know what I'm saying? Pass two bills, motherfuckers calling you and you ducking them calls. And, but you still out here trying to grind. You going to work every day. But after you get off work, you put in that time to perfect your craft. Year in, year out, day in, day out, you know what I'm saying? 24 hours a day, there is no stop when you're trying to get somewhere. Right. And a lot of people might not see that. So I'll be trying to tell people as a content creator, people think I just turn on this mic and the podcast just happened. No, like there's work to be done. There's lost nights where I haven't slept. Sometimes I get done with a show and I can't sleep. So I'm sitting in my chair and I fall asleep like three in the morning. So <laughs> to hear you say that it's refreshing because people need to know these things. Like they think like, because they see all these artists and they doing all these, like that's, that's for show. They not showing you what's behind the scene. Cause some of the motherfuckers is getting paid in chains. They're not getting paid in money. They can't right. just show up and name a price. They motherfuckers like, man, we give you this used Honda and back, nigga. Shut the fuck up or take it. They said used Honda. Big thing too. A big thing too about demanding your prices. You got to be okay when somebody can't do it or don't want yeah. to. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the part. Like I wish somebody would have told me 
so I could be better prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? Because when you know what your expenses is, you know who you got to take care of, and you name this price based on that, and somebody say, well, we can't do that, or they feel like you ain't worth that. Like, to hear somebody be like, oh, that's too much for you. You know what I'm saying? To have somebody boldly tell you that to your face, that's, that's it do something different to you. You know what I'm saying? So, again, all that fuels the reason why I go so hard and why I work so hard, because by the time I show up or by the time my name hit across your desk and it come with that price tag, the last thing I need you to be talking about some is, oh, no, he ain't worth that. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Know your worth. Yo. You, know? oh. you bro. I can't say this enough. I, I'm a huge fan. I I, I I think I've shown my admiration. I'll be trying to chill. But that's why I love doing this show. Because because I'm not going to lie. Part of this reason why the last couple of years has been so fun to me and I don't want to give up. Because I'm a fan. Like I am truly a fan and a supporter of people. And when and I don't care if they got a thousand followers, 10 million followers. I'm a fan. Um, the number of people who follow you don't matter to me. Um, it's the work that you put in. And when I get to talk to these people, it's fucking amazing. So being able to talk to you, it's fucking dope. And to say I had you on the show is a flex. Like people <laughs> don't realize, you know what I'm saying? Your name carry weight. And it's, and I'm not doing it because I want the views or anything like that, but I want people to know, like, I like talking to dope ass people. So being able to have you on was, is one is, is, is a bucket list of mine. Like people don't know. I have, I have this list. So I have this list of people who I'll be like, okay, if I can get this person on, I feel great. If I can get this person on, that's fucking dope. If I can get this person on, that's a, it, I'll geek out. And you're one of them people that is on this list. You know, you, G Black. Uh, I can't name the rest because I'm still trying to get in on nobody steal my shit to get your own. Like, get your own list. <laughs> yeah. But no, it, it's fucking amazing, man, because like I said, I see the work, but it's just the the humbleness. Like you are one of the most aggressive humble person i've ever seen and i say that with all due respect because when you're on the mic it is super like if you've never heard this the man energy. rap it, the energy is top tier like you don't fail to deliver to if i don't care what the song is there's an energy about it that you got to feel it like you'll feel it you know what i mean and then but you're humble like you know you can walk up to eight and be like, hey man, what's going on? <laughs> right. This asshole. <laughs> yeah, oh Lord. Here we go. <laughs> Here she is. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Right. <laughs> Let me text her. Right. Her later. But no. Uh we know Brandy, all to society. I knew it was gonna happen. I was like, she's gonna come sooner or later. But like, you can't let him get too big headed. Yeah, but, um, um all because here here's a, okay. I know she probably won't me to tell you this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Oh, um, you have a line called your favorite white foods rapper. Right. I was gonna put that on the flyer. <laughs> that whole thing was funny. That whole thing. I was gonna yeah, put it on the flyer, but she was, flyer, one, but she was, was like, nah, nigga. About that. But it was like it's it's all about how it's interpreted, right? <laughs> like that line wasn't I guess her first her first mind after hearing it, knowing, you know what I'm saying, um, how my network had grown amongst, like, you know, female cosplayers and things like that or whatever, um, that I guess to the untrained eye would look like there's supposed to be like this playboy aspect to it or something of that nature. And she like, that's way different than who you are. And this and that, like, that really- She is like, not right. <laughs> <laughs> she is Sorry. not right. <laughs> I had to explain to her like, nah, it's not. That's never really what it's been about. Cause I've been some women's favorite rapper before I ever dropped cosplay. Energy. You know what I'm saying? It's it had nothing to do with that. It just it made more sense as a tagline because it's it's catchy. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It may be like you know it's a it's a conversation piece. Somebody could be like. So uh, I see uh, you're uh, everybody's waifu's favorite rubber. Uh, what's that about? You know what I'm saying? And then that lets me tee up a song to promote. That mm. lets me, you know what I'm saying? It, it cues me up to do a lot of things. So, um, but yeah, so it was it was a funny conversation, but she yeah. always do that because she mean well. I know. Yeah, because she wasn't going to let me put it on a flyer. She made oh, me yeah. do like, 
I put it on the flyer. She was like, yeah, um, I have a few changes I need to make. I love the flyer. <laughs> There's a few news and notes I need to, we need some things we that, need to that go That sounds over. like me. That's, that's but me. no, uh, people don't know this. I sent, um, I sent her a lot of my stuff. Like when I make a flyer, I send it to her first. Um, her and my wife are two of the people who I let see my work before anybody else. Because one, I trust their judgment, and two, I know they're not going to lie to me. Right. You know? If my shit suck, they gonna let me know. Nah, nigga, this ain't it. Get the fuck out of here. Try, try again, boo boo. Uh, <laughs> B ain't nobody's just man. At no, all. no, at all. As she shouldn't be. No, will never. That's why I love. I love working with her. I love being around her because she, she wasn't gonna let me business. do that. But there's that's another question I want to ask. Yeah, the dynamics of you know, because I like asking a lot of artists this because of, you know the music game is notorious for the. The weirdness. Um, let's let's. I say it like that to be polite, because uh, I don't want no music. No, 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 don't be polite. I want to know what the real version is. A <laughs> uh, <laughs> lot of weird shit. Uh, okay. In all different directions. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and you've been in the game for a while, so you you've been a single artist. Um, mm-hmm. you know now committed relationship artist. Um, the dynamics of making music and hitting the road because I know you guys do it together. But um, I forgot where I was going with this. Damn. <laughs> Never mind. All right, let's move on. <laughs> no. He was he was on a roll. And it no, was, no, no, no. Her deep. comment, oh, her comment was... right now is fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, that's right, sis. Pimp that nigga out. Pimp that nigga out. Yo. Because DC what? said. You was a single artist. Now I said when, I re- said, I listen, said when. I know, and now you're a committed when. relationship artist. Pimp him out, sis. Because you Pimp know, so there's, there's a lot of, you see a lot of change in artists, you know, when they single, you know, the lyrics are a little yeah. more spicier. You know, the lyrics are, you know, a little but more But if you have a secure there. relationship, your lyrics could stay spicy. That's the well, problem. Yeah, Stop getting with insecure females. Now have the spicy. I, that's the thing. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say you couldn't. I just right. was asking. The, I'm not an artist. My mm. shit's always spicy. You was an artist. Yeah, I'm a poet. You know, I, I, and I'm I, sensitive about my shit. But yeah. uh, pimp him out, sis. One I'm, fish, I'm just, two I'm fish. Just go back. Red fish, blue fish. Nick, a pimp named Brandy. That's damn. You gotta say it. That like, is right. Like, yes. Say it like you mean it. It's a pimp named Brandy. You gotta say a whole. Yeah, Brandy. The pimp <laughs> named Brandy. Um, you love. I, I love my voice too. That's that New York shit, baby. These motherfuckers making <laughs> connections. Y'all, this ain't that show. I'm, uh, look, but no. I need a manager and I don't rap. Wait, 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 w
if if, if y'all know. didn't know how much of a researcher B is, she probably didn't research it right now, as you said it. Oh yeah. <laughs> So you said you still had the info by the time the show over with. So <laughs> <laughs> you just said something that I, I kind of I kind of like hearing these kind of stories. Um, the, the how does it feel like you know a year before somebody deny you and the next year they 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 on your sack they like brother I know uh they, they hit you with the brother I know last year we didn't uh come correct <laughs> <laughs> but if you can see it in your heart to maybe you kind of come back uh, no. we just I mean, the block bless us with the stage they take yeah. the highest road possible right they act like it never happened oh that's no 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 that's see me happened. I'm petty I <laughs> me I'm petty I gotta that's let you know they like, oh, word? That, that us? What? Me? No, that was that was previous sure? management. That was previous no. management. Uh, it was so much going on uh, last year, man. It, I didn't it, do it, it much. Uh, uh, I don't or remember that. Uh, you know, like, like a couple of. Are you sure? You don't have to say, but they like they put me in, um, and and low tier time slots at certain mm. places. Because um, again. <clears throat> I'm having the most fun I've had in my career in probably the past five years, right? Mm. Um, ever since the switch to Nerdcore, it's been the most fun. But it's proving grounds all over again. So I'm having the most fun because there's so many people that don't know what I'm capable of yet, no matter how much buzz I got right now. Because um, just like with Ultra Instinct being out, like I met the people at Funimation and people that make Dragon Ball. I, I met them. They heard the song. They loved the song. But because, you know, to some major corporations, numbers is a thing, they waiting around for me to get pop or more pop. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And things like that. So I'll get up on you for a second. I, 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 don't, I don't another another humble flex. I'm gonna need you. This is what the shit we don't do humble flexes. <laughs> My nigga met the motherfuckers who make Goku, nigga. If you don't know who that is, you better <laughs> Ask your grandmama, ask your mama, mama, who is Goku? Nah, who is baby, Goku? you dumb as shit. Baby, you dumb as shit. Mm -hmm. I hate to call my babies dumb, but you dumb. You don't know who mm -hmm. Goku is, son, you people, dumb. People but, say y'all some stupid ass kids. Dumb ass kids don't know who Goku is. Kids. People's radars, they just refuse to move because the numbers ain't there yet. So when I do get on some of these stages, like they're like, oh yeah, we'll give you a shot. But they give me them. Oh, that 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 local opener spot, like for mm. that. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's only ten people there. there's it's only like ten, yeah, twelve you know, people up in that bitch. Huh? I'm telling you. And then like I've, what I've noticed, because a couple of cons has happened to me. Um, because I mean it happened to me at BlurCon. I got a chance to perform at BlurCon, but they put me on the outside stage at noon. I think I went uh, on it. At Hey man, hold on. Hey, Wait, they did him. They did him like how had, MTV I don't know, and BT I don't know who do the BlurCon. This ain't spring bling. If you don't look, get ready to go, prime look. time slot. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You remember spring bling when they warming up the crowd like seven Listen. of the, the prime time. Is eight, they got motherfuckers on at six. Yo, the sun's still out. Nigga, that's really the fucking, yet. um, that's how the BT, BT Awards be. Like, that's the fucking thing. Like, they put him on the pre show. And not the, and the main show. Man, yeah, no. Like, that's the fucking thing. Like, that's the fucking thing. Like, that's the fucking thing. Bro, I'm there, driving. Right Don't now. do that shit. <laughs> 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 the, the prime, the prime, like, right. like or whatever was like Saturday night. They had not only did they not have me perform Saturday, they had me perform Friday. At Fuck. Fuck. Hey, 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 man. Is that not when hey, people hey, just man. arriving? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Wow. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all right <laughs> now, my man is not the warm up for the people that's trying to check in and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> You know how they got the motherfuckers like Copa, Copa, Copa. <laughs> nah, this ain't my nigga ain't hey, that. If y'all put my man in the uh, time slot, nigga says shit, spring bling, bro. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I'm crying. Yeah. 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 To me, Yeah. 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 Yeah, let's see what he do. Let's see if he can warm up the the, the, the people coming oh, in. Oh, you know how what I feel like that is is when uh they have Coachella and rolling out and you got all the big names and then them shit start getting tinier and tinier. Oh, yeah. Them the niggas that perform at 12 noon. Cause they know the nigga's still drunk from the night before. Ain't nobody about to see that nigga. This the crazy thing. Don't do me like that. He performed and the crowd grew mm -hmm. when he left. It, it disappeared. 
Ooh, we. I don't I bet doubt you, it. I but bet you, I bet you this is, shit and be like, nah, bro, my, you gotta be right here. My problem it's, is, it's, it's I take, I'm taking that personally. I don't even know why, but I'm taking. <laughs> why are you that taking it personally, dude? I feel, I feel disrespected for us. You why? <laughs> he said, I felt it. Shit. I'm ground stage, like you know what I'm saying, like. My go like I don't care if it's two or two hundred people or two hundred thousand people. You know, hit the you know right. what I'm saying? That's the, so, that's what I tell people. So I gotta get up there and I gotta give you everything. Yeah, and it's gonna stick because once I get off stage, then I'm gonna be in your face too. Cause it's like right. hey, you know what I'm saying. Did and you hear me? Did you hear me? No. Crazy. So many people, so many people that want that wanted to see me didn't get a chance, and then they was like hitting up the, the staff, like how you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I, like like big man on campus said, I don't gotta say I'm great. I let them do it. Yeah. You know? So in that regard, if enough people is like, yo, he need to be here or whatever, they got no choice. They, they hey, don't. Yeah. That's, that's true. Blur, the people Burka, Burka. Whoever run that shit, uh whoever uh Hilton, Hilton, uh Jim, I don't give a fuck who run that oh, shit. My. Oh, my man playing oh, my. at noon on a Friday again. Like this, some Bing Crosby shit. I'm on your ass. Not Bing Crosby. Let me, let me find out that my man performing at noon on a Friday. <laughs> so I can get niggas in. I will be in that motherfucker with the swiftness. I'm on your <laughs> ass like white on rice. I'm telling you right yeah, now. I you will be in VA. A motherfucker drive white knuckle to a place and don't know what the fuck's going on. He just show up. Uh, he shoveled and shit. DC, he up. said the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> DC, shut up. Oh. <laughs> Man, dog, nah. this nigga is crazy, man. You see his touch, dog. You see his touch, dog. The nigga says spring wing, dog. I take shit seriously. I take dope people seriously. I don't give a fuck, uh, and I, I don't want people to think that I'm play, I play favorites. I take people who work hard seriously. People who, because I know what hard work is. You know what I'm saying? And I know what it looks like. So I take those people with the utmost respect. One, I got more, more respect for them than anybody. I don't, I'm don't. i sorry. Right. People right. who grind every day and put their 110% in, uh, it ain't. When you driving white knuckle, because that means your shit is gripping the steering wheel mm -hmm. and shit. But anyway, you got um, calluses. And yeah, <laughs> you, got and you, you over the steering wheel and shit like this. Man, mm. fuck. But no, that. that's neither here nor there. But what I'm saying mm. is that shit ain't easy. And for somebody who... Oh, because I'm an advocate for dope people. Like I right. tell people all the time, if I see your shit, I'm sharing it. If I see you putting the work in, I'm going to support it 110% because I know what it looks like. I know what it feels like to right. be told no or no. be told, eh, I don't know about you, man. It's something it. right. Uh, <laughs> I don't see it yet. So when you see it in yourself and you have people believe in you, it makes you feel better. But I go hard for people who I know deserve more. And Thanks. it to me is it's a slap in the face when you see dope ass people who who are fucking dope, but the numbers aren't there. Fuck the numbers, like fuck the numbers. Like the numbers don't mean shit because I see the motherfuckers buying numbers. You know what I'm saying? Sixty thousand yeah. motherfucking followers and they only got five posts. Like nigga, we ain't stupid. Yo, I know, I just, yeah. that shit ain't adding <laughs> up. Nigga. Ain't yeah. up yeah. I just said some shit like that, DC. I'm like, well, how? Like, like how the fuck you gonna tell me you nah. got I got over a thousand posts. I got about three thousand followers. That's about right. That's that's where I'm at. The ratio nah, is there. bro. If if you go look at their likes and I'm on some hate shit, I ain't gonna lie. If you go look at their <laughs> likes and you go see who all really like they shit, bro, it be like names that ain't even real. Bro, like who the fuck? You know, man, who the fuck is these people? Uh, <laughs> if white, 10, 13, You're right. 22. You like, <laughs> You're like what the fuck? I had to go yeah. check and see. I'm like, how the fuck? But yeah, I'll be but seeing some of that. The people be buying likes and views. I'm like, come on, man. Get that, that real shit. That, that shit to me is wild that people be like, oh, your numbers got it. The numbers got to be there. Motherfucker put me on. I guarantee my numbers going to get you where you need to be. Man. Yeah, because if they just play doing. your shit, if they just play your shit during the ultra, when, when Goku about to go ultra instinct and they play that motherfucking song while he in the middle of going man, ultra instinct, man, man, you don't need man, the goddamn man, views. Man, they going to fucking man, come. Damn, hold on. I didn't fucking... Turn my headphones up now, I need to turn them back down. Yeah, he's driving all trains. He's driving white knuckles. No, I'm just saying, because they want to talk about views and shit. If they really like this shit with their hating ass, they just throw the shit on there. This is crazy. Yeah, it's it's big. You know what I'm saying? I feel it, but I'm just saying. 
Bitch ass niggas yelling. It's, it's trash, but it's business. <laughs> I mean, if, we if, I, know, if I had, if I, if I got a, if I got a song about, if I got a song about, or if I got a, if I got a company about trucking, trucking, and then you motherfucking come out with a song about trucking, and I like the song regardless of how many people like your shit. I if trucks. I got motherfucking you numbers, got shit, I'm gonna put your motherfucking shit. <laughs> saying, you know what I'm saying? Next right. thing you know, your shit moving numbers because they already Bro. looking at me for trucking, and now I got you on my shit. So now your numbers don't go up any fucking way. So fuck them, man. I know this nigga like, yelling. I turned my shit down to 22 and he's still loud. Hey, man, stop worried about what I'm talking about, Regina King, number two. I ain't, ain't talking no, about you right no, now. Don't do this, don't no, don't do this. Don't disrespect me. I'm savagely humble, nigga. Don't wait. No, say it that way. Don't say it at all. To be fuck Regina King about? is still a it's still a flex. So oh, it, I'm, it, no, no, no. I love yeah. Regina King. Actually, she funny as fuck. She funny as fuck and fine as fuck. So actually, two. thank you. I'll be I'll be two. a number two to her. Two. That means I'm a stunt uh, double, nigga. Like I'ma still get bread. <laughs> fuck you mean. Please say it. Please I mean, you definitely sound now. like you definitely sound like you narrate the boom doc. Fine as fuck. Hey, yeah. I, I I'll make some bread off that too, nigga. You just giving me all the good positions. Thank <laughs> you. You Fuck you mean. Squeaky ass. I am a female. You know we I'm sorry, you know we gotta be being loud. But your shit all in my ear though, like he hard don't know, though. You he don't know how to. He don't know how to act in front of company. I'm <laughs> sorry, A. Time out. Time out. I'm sorry, no, A. He don't know how to act in front of company. Ears and shit, like nigga, you got on headphones. Where else was she? I'm sorry, I'm like, hold on, hold on. I got, I got to read Brandy's comments because because Brandy said, like, she said, yes, being hype in the shadows. <laughs> right. He went right. full shook night. Brandy, he go full. Brandy, he go full shook night all the time. We instead of the angry black woman, he's the angry black man. They love calling us angry. That nigga is the angry black man. They gonna have a diary of the angry black man, man just God, for this man. nigga. It's gonna be boomer and the angry, man. I'm not angry. I'm okay, okay, okay bro. All right, boom. I'm not can angry. Get... I'm doing what this black man should be doing. You just so we can get back to our guests. This is embarrassing. Young lady. I'm not this angry. Embarrassing. I'm doing what us black man should have been doing a long time ago. When that's Shut the fuck up. That's what you should have been doing. God damn. Shut up. Doing our fucking Jesus emotions, Christ. man. Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck? Y'all know how to use your goddamn emotions. If y'all was white, we wouldn't be having it. I bet you wouldn't do this shit to Dick Clark. Oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> bet you would be doing uh, this shit, shit. Clark, not this way. But look, no nah, man, can we get back to the guests? We can y'all can yell at each other later. Shit. I stopped a long time ago, DC. I'm just here. Man, she, I'm she, so she cold. I had so she many questions, shit. but then you motherfuckers got to arguing for I don't know what. But... I'm just he don't know how to act in front of the company, and I'm just so embarrassed. Yeah, she always got something to say. So, I'm calling Dr. Dr. Umar Johnson for you niggas. You motherfuckers need couples therapy. We're gonna put you <laughs> <Yeah. the> <laughs> This is so stressful. <laughs> this is why you don't work with your significant so, other. I'm, I'm sorry. It, it normally I like I still love her. I love her, though. Eat. That's my nigga, though. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesus. I, you know what? That's why you going, bitch. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, uh, hey, let me go ahead and play it. You want me to play it? Let me share that screen. Play um, this shit, Chris. Before we get there, before we get there, because there, there was something else I wanted to ask, but it got so convoluted. It's like <laughs> motherfuckers who can't draw hands or feet. Like, this shit just got out of hand. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> the fuck. I hate this nigga. God. Just saying, like, you know, uh, <laughs> see, I like when he's all over show. again. Like, Jesus <laughs> Ratings down, but you motherfuckers are still trying for that number one spot. We Golly, got Kira, you so <laughs> <fucking right>. <laughs> hey, man, if you don't get savage out of here, she got something to say all the goddamn time. You just talking, anywho. <laughs> hey, like, okay, <laughs> so, so sorry, you deserve way better than this. Um, next time, I'll have uh. Not him. Here. I'll be here. He won't. I have he not <laughs> but no. Um, yeah. Three days. We got some new heat dropping. So many things going on this year. What are you looking forward to the most? I think. I think I get the most excited about meeting the people that the music is touched. Mm. That's probably the single greatest thing I've ever experienced in my entire life, not my career, but my entire life, um, that 
some shit I wrote in my notebook would go on to help somebody get through a day. Mm. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like some, this like sucks. I was, I was in the house getting thoughts off my mind, putting them on paper. And eventually it would go to a person that all they did was cry all day until that song came on. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's the craziest thing. So it's like, anytime I get a chance to meet that person, I I look like, yeah, you know, performing on these stages and stuff like that, that it looked good on, it looked good on the resume. But the thing that you can't put on your resume is every soul you've touched through lyric. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's the shit that mattered to me. Like, that's the shit I love. And every time I go to one of these new places or I see somebody that, that feel like we family the first time we meet because of the, they live with this music until they was able to see me in person. Like, that's the only thing I really look forward to. That's the reason why I do this shit. That is so Luffy of you. Was. <laughs> <laughs> that's the vibe. That's the... That answer, because I, I had a follow-up question, but I'm like, yeah, there's no point in following up. He answered the question, both questions, without me even asking the second one. Um, does it though. still, does it feel weird when people, well, it probably doesn't because you're, you're kind of used to it now, but the autographing and the, the love. Okay. See, I, I, because I know some people don't, and it's just like, I'm, it feels brand new every time. Bro, I think the, like, the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me somebody walk up, walking up to me reciting a lyric or something. Mm. And like, I'm like, you actually really give a fuck about what I just said <laughs> to the point where you've put it in memory mm. to spew it at me to let me know that, that you know, know. evil. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like that shit is the weirdest thing I'll never get used to. Just like I'm always... <laughs> Like I'm always nervous before I get on stage. That that's not going away. And I've been performing since I was like ten. Like you know what I'm saying. So, like, it's so weird because like I'm just me. Like you know mm. what I'm saying. Like to you, you're <laughs> just you. Like, but to the right. world, you're AC so great, you, man. You just you. <laughs> Shut the fuck it's, up. It's so oh weird. It's just like you know what I'm saying. Like I, I I stand up to piss like the next man. I wash my hands. You know what I'm saying. Like it's just. Please wash your hands. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, God damn. I didn't think, or should I say, I didn't anticipate it to happen the way it happened. I didn't even want to rap. Like, rap, I got into rap on accident. Like, mm. that ain't supposed to happen. Like, I was supposed to be drawing cartoons. Like, I literally, on my career passport, senior year of high school. Oh, shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, like, you just made a lot I'm of people. Work, I'm going to go work for the people that make Dragon Ball Z. Damn. Oh, we, we, lost yet? we lost you. We oh, lost him. Oh, you got oh, that. That's because boom so fucking ignorant. Man, no, that's because you always interrupt me when I'm talking. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. And here they go. I'm the host, so everybody shut the fuck up when I'm talking. How about that? I mean, don't see. See, don't do that. Don't wait till I'm on something. Then, then want to be on me. There you go. I'm on everybody. All right. So <laughs> I was. I don't know. I'm getting ready to ask some questions. Cause you made everybody feel old because a lot of people collectively was in, there, in the crowd like career passport. I told my old nigga for real, for real. Like because I know the career passport. I still got mine actually. I still I got mine. No. Exactly. It's in my Young box of well. memory. Uh, I, I ain't that much younger than y'all, but shit, I don't I ain't have one of those. Oh, so you ain't like, hey, lived to the career passport. Does, so that's what yeah. But Jay, yeah, like, you know, I wanted to draw cartoons, that's all I ever wanted to do. I stumbled upon this shit and was like oh i'm actually good all right <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> like, yeah it's like you know you like i found my destiny on accident and i stuck with it isn't that how it always goes though that is, you, that always but, yeah. you know what it's it's not it wasn't an accident it wasn't you thought your purpose was the one thing and god had a different plan for you right. it wasn't an accident it was purposeful and purposely put in place for you it wasn't an accident okay yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we always have a plan, but God be up there like, <laughs> you think yep. that's what you got going on? Let me give you this. <laughs> Here you go. Um, the other thing well you said, I, I feel I feel like you like the, you said the nerves. 
I tell people this. I get nervous every time before I do a show. Now I'm a hundred in. The nerves mean that you actually give a fuck. Because if you ain't nervous before you oh, do right. something huge, you ain't. Yeah, yeah. You might as well walk off. You might as well just. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Burn that in the fuel. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I want to ask him about the hose. Let me ask him. <clears throat> so, oh, tell me about the hose on the road. <laughs> I guess now we got to now we got to transition. Uh, let, let me ask you about the hoes on the road. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Do you get to the yams? Jesus, it is it's only it's only one mm. pair. Of yams I get to nowadays. Only one pair of yams. Good answer. Good answer, young lady. Good, good answer, answer. brother. You know what? Uh, Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. You're with you. You just. <laughs> You just got a hundred on the, uh, the board. You you yeah. <laughs> that was the number one answer. So he thought the he measured in his so thoughts. Like, so many people had like a misconception, of, like when I was putting the whole cosplay Andrew run together with the challenge and everything. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. The only reason that worked is because I built up the rapport and the respect amongst all the women. Like I never tried to get on. I never tried to. You know what I'm saying? So it was like. It used to be funny, dudes used to be in my DM, man. I know you got the unit, and it's like, and it's like, yeah, because it's like that's the difference between me having all these, uh, all these women as friends, and you looking at us be friends. <laughs> because, he over there, like, damn, I wish, I wish she was over here with me. Yeah, it's like you, you so, you know what I'm saying, dusty throat. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like that ain't even I'm about to use that. Stuff, Thank man. you. I ain't even a way to go about it. So yeah, so definitely. <laughs> oh shit! Damn. Right? Yeah. No. Like. Uh, she I thought had, she thought she was out here slinging yeah, dick. Like, yeah. I had to prove I had cosplay to prove dick. I was, like, <laughs> cosplaying cosplay dick. Holy shit! <laughs> Yeah, baby, this ain't just a costume. This, this ain't a costume. My dick got a costume too. What you talking about? When you take that's, this one off, it's another one. No, nah, but I, I had to prove that I am who I say I am. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, Eminem. It was cool. Yeah. That's my favorite rapper, by the way. Yeah, yeah. let's say, yeah. <laughs> you hit the nail. Mm. Uh, yes. Yes. Dick cosplay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, cosplay um, dick. It is. It's been. I don't want to put this. It's been a wild ride, you know. what I'm saying from the outside looking in, those who have seen the journey, um, has seen the growth. You can't do nothing but be, you know. what I'm saying, like, like proud to be able to say, like, damn, I know what's going on. Um, and profoundly as this may sound. Actually, it ain't gonna sound profound. Let me not lie to y'all. Yeah, it's about to sound like some, some trash. Oh, um, <laughs> you can't help but feel a slight green eyed because it's like, damn, I want to be a part of this. <laughs> but motherfuckers be like, damn, I don't want to put in the work. Mm -hmm. But Sabby. to see, like I said, to sum it all up, to see all the stuff that you put in. You know, all the work, you know, the promotion, the grinding. Again, if y'all ain't seen stream spaces, go to YouTube. Not right now, because y'all are still supposed to be watching this. But after y'all yeah. get done watching this, and yeah, you already yeah, on yeah. YouTube, go to stream spaces and watch this <laughs> clip. I guarantee you, you gonna, if you weren't a fan before of just listening to him talk, after you hear the aggressive, uh, again, the humble aggressiveness in his rap. I don't know how else to put it. Like it's because it's it's aggressive as fuck. And I don't mean aggressive in a bad way. I just mean like he raps with his per. You can hear the purpose in his rap. Yeah, you know I mean, it's you mean there. what you like, say? Yeah. Every word has enunciation. It's very, you know, it's very well oh, spoken. But, it's, but no, because he, he wants you to feel the words, which is dope. You know what I mean? That strange space said, sound like sound like me right there. You know what I'm saying? A different club, man. Like my thing was I still come from that era, like the tail end of that era where if you grabbed the mic, you had to be nice. You know what I'm saying? So it was like as the nerdiest guy in any circle that I've ever been in, mm -hmm. 
had to always prove I belong in skill level, even if I didn't belong in subject matter. You know what I'm saying? So if I grabbed his mic, what is that last one? Eating your face off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, period. Like, you right. gonna be on stage with me? You oh, might you, you be off that stage. <laughs> Brandon, you know? he talked your panties off. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Cause she said I love to hear him talk, so he must have talked you about them panties. Look at her ass. Don't worry about that. Come on, hey, sis. Uh, you ever you ever took a uh, you ever you are uh, you giving out autographs and shit? Like do you do do you be doing autographs now? Like like with your Bro, we just asking that. Bye. He he missed man, I wasn't me. here, man. Stop interrupting me when I'm asking a motherfucking question. Sit your ass the fuck back and listen. Now back to you, Mr. Brent. Nah, oh, um, crazy though. Nah, you you, you do be <laughs> do you be asking do you be do you do be signing autographs though? Every so often. Um Okay. It, it's happening it's happening more now i think what i'm getting more now even outside of like the autograph thing is just randomly we we be somewhere randomly oh that you you crazy yeah you're right or i, I seen a uh, you know what i'm saying like that shit is kind of weird which is kind of cool though because i remember like you know walking in through the the movie theater one day and it's like yo you uh you uh <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that, What's dude. my name, nigga? <laughs> Say my name. Fuck. <laughs> so, what's the weirdest thing you ever signed? Um, oh, I wanted to ask you. Now that's a good question. I signed the kids' homework. Stop it! Hold on. You ain't turned that in. The fuck? This was even recent years. Like I signed um I I ended up like in this I want to say what 2012 ish 2011 2012 ish I ended up like getting a a, a a weird pocket of fans in Vermilion, Ohio. Right? Oh Lord. <laughs> and what the hell is that? <laughs> a place. All right. I ain't never heard of that place. It's a place. So, it's a place. He said it's a place. <laughs> I put out this song on YouTube. A kid from Vermilion found the song. Of course, it was like an anti-bullying song or whatever. Mm -hmm. He took that song, took it back to his high school, and it spread like cancer. Wow. And it's to the point where it was necessary for me to go to <laughs> this school. To meet yeah. these kids, so the I go out there, um, and it was like me and a couple of the fr of my friends or whatever. We go out there. They it's, they got a basketball game. It's a home game. I show up, and you would have thought I was Michael Jackson. It was crazy. Like even little kids that never heard my music because they thought I was already famous due to the other students. They was going crazy. To me, like, can you sign this? Can you sign? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Shoes. I signed the kids' homework. I signed the kids' forehead. I signed. <laughs> it and was Jimmy crazy. never wash his forehead again. But <laughs> then I'm white folks will let you sign anything. Got to stay in touch with that. Why well, it got to be white? It could have been black. It was definitely white. It's, it's it was definitely yeah. white. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, be for real. Be for real. But a million. The experience that <laughs> it really gave me a focus on what the focus on because you know, like. Rappers on the underground scene, they got this bad habit of rapping for other rappers. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, caught in this, this rat wheel because you go into these shows trying to get fans, but everybody in the crowd is up next. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So so for me to experience this in a different space, it was crazy. So I started building a rapport with them to the point where the next home game I went to, it was raining, right? And I had this raggedy ass car. It was raining cats and dogs outside. I ain't had no windshield wipers. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle <laughs> was real. Yeah, I sprayed my windshield up with, with rain -X. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drove 45 minutes to Vermilion <laughs> with no windshield wipers to try to make that connection. You know what I'm saying? And mm. I did a mixtape. I, I put all them kids on the song. I had them call my phone and leave voicemails and stuff. And then I put them on the song so that they could be a part of something forever. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And see, now this is- Man, you, you ever listen to that rapper? That's something I can appreciate because I know sometimes, I think it was last year, uh, you had put up a, a video like on Instagram and it was showing all the fans that, <laughs> have, been, that have been like affected by like, and these are kids. These are kids. Like parents, like there's, that's getting the merch and everything. They're like, yo, hey, you know, so it's not just, 
us that's hearing it and it's sort of affecting, it's really affecting kids. It's really bringing them in. So it's bringing them in like that. <laughs> who is that? Is that who is that? Who, who is that? Is that? I don't know, but that don't sound like that don't sound like Crazy Eight. No, but yeah, yeah that, but time is after nine thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> it's that was my day. I had open Gee, Instagram and it just started going off, but I thought I put my mic on mute a long time I'm ago. Like, what? <laughs> what is going on? But no, but hey, crazy it, though, it, man. It, you it, ever it, listen to this rapper name? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It showed. It showed how it. Man, no, you playing music. Kids. It showed. It showed effect. It, it showed how it affected all these kids, and so it's new and more than just to the adults. It's right. really affecting the kids, and it's bringing them around and saying, "Hey, it's cool that you're listening to this, to this, but maybe you need to check this out because what he's talking about could be could be affecting you and helping you get through something that he's going through." Facts. All right, we're gonna take a uh, question from Boom in the truck. Boom, you're up. Because I was about to say, what the fuck is my purpose of a co-host? If Rick's got a problem with what the fuck I got to say, anyways, well, though. Gotta, um, go ahead. Like Brandy said, what is going on in the shadow realm? All the damn. <laughs> yeah, I told you, it's that hard water, man. It's affecting his soul. Hey, <laughs> man, listen. No, no, we'll go ahead, man. Seriously. No, nah, man, you ever listen to this rapper named Dax? You ever listen to a rapper named Dax? This question is for crazy. This question is definitely for crazy. You ever listen to a rapper named Dax? I'm hip to Dax. He's from Toronto. Yeah, you have to him. So you, you know, y'all two probably will make a oh crazy ass song, man. Cause it's like I'm I'm not comparing y'all, mm-hmm. but I would think that y'all would be in the same like category of rap, like because I, I mean I understand the nerdy rap, you know what I'm saying, because of the the category of music or the or the the, the characters that you rap about or whatever, but or or the or the themes that you use. But in real talk, like the stuff that you be speaking on, it it kind of speaks to people, you know what I'm saying that. In a, in a different level of life, like you know, what I'm right. saying that, that touch people, with, and so if you know who I'm talking about as far as Dax, then you will understand why I would put y'all in the same category. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was it. just thinking about that when I listened to you. Yeah, I'd love to work with Dax at least once. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because like, that was my next question: is who would you work with? Um, that list is kind of long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask Dream Collabo, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure he got some people he he on. Like that list. But of course, if I could do it before he retire, I gotta I gotta work with him at least once. Eminem? Yeah, I gotta work with Eminem. The goat, the goat himself. Either him or Wayne. I wouldn't like I wouldn't be rapping if it wasn't for the Marshall Mathers LP. So um mm. I have to um I of course dream uh, just to even be in the same room with the man, like that would be crazy. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Who else, man? Like, uh, I'd love to actually like get Donald Glover rapping again. Oh, uh, yeah. I really like. He like, got when something coming. When he get in his childish Gambino bag on the rap side, like, yo, uh, yo, go crazy. yo. Let me tell you something. Go crazy. I I grew up around that nigga. When I moved to Georgia, I was around that nigga. That nigga's a different breed. He is. That nigga's a different. That nigga's a different breed. He is. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Always wanted to like one of my other biggest musical influences just off of like embracing being weird was Kid Cudi. Um, wow, minus the dress. Um, yeah, definitely minus the, minus okay. the dress. I'm with you. I'm with you. We <laughs> day and night, Kid Cudi. Day and night, Kid Cudi. Pursue the happiness, Kid Cudi. Right, pursue that. <laughs> Cudi dropped though. It was like, well, one, you know, he from the same yeah. region right that I'm from. Right. It was like, yeah, I'm weird. So what? Like, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it's like, so I don't gotta shoot people in the face. I don't gotta sell drugs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could be a little bit like emotionally vulnerable on, on, on a record or whatever, and you could still be successful, or you could still, you know, get girls, or you could still, you know, yeah. what I'm maybe like to to work. <laughs> To work with Cuddy or to work with Lupe Fiasco or to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Lupe, something crazy. People yeah. don't understand Lupe. Lupe I see the crazy. road you going down too, though. I, I see with, where you're going. He, 
push my pen to its limits. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm mm-hmm. I'm still in it for the sport. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, with that in my blood, like, it's like, oh, no, I got to work with some of the illest people ever or else it's not going to be fun. Mm. I need to be scared. Rick the 5'9". <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, I need Royce, to- yeah. <laughs> Like I've opened up for Royce and met Royce. Like I've, I've um, I've been you know chilling and and, and networking with Crooked Eye. You know what I'm saying? And, mm. Like Crooked Eye has told other people that I'm nice. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's like the one that was with Luda, right? What he was with Luda, I think, right? No, that's that's I twenty. I twenty. No, Crooked Eye, not I twenty. Crooked Eye. No, he, or he did a song with him. He did a song with him. He yeah, but you know, back. Crooked Waterhouse, like, like. To be able to to know how how lyrically tenacious Crooked Eye is, and then for him to tell other people like, "Yo, he nice," like yeah. you know, is like, <clears throat> I'm supposed to be doing this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be around people of that ilk. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to collabing, so either you make crazy music on the you know it's on the production side, like a Timbaland or a, or a Pharrell or a Kanye or something like that. But then give me a feature with M or give me a feature with M and Cuddy or put Childish Gambino on a song with me and Lupe or you know what I'm saying? Like let's create like the mm. wild, most lyrical, most conceptual, most interesting music you could make. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm trying But I ain't hear Lamar or J. Cole though. I feel like that's right. typical. Yeah, like you know what? Like Okay. Working with K Dot and working with Cole is, of course, I'd never turn that down. But it's like I want to go to the people they look up to. Mm, okay, okay. Because you know I mean? like, like me, K Dot, Cole, Drake, we all in the same age range. Like, if I was to pop around the same time, they, we'd have been in the same class. So you know what I'm saying? So I really, I look at them, even though you know they made it and they had like a certain echelon or whatever. I still Here's. look at. Them competition mm-hmm. so it's like i want right, to right. we all looked up to if i can get the respect from the people we look up to i'm good hold on you ain't trying to get no song with master p stop it <laughs> hell no uh, uh that's a lyrical <laughs> <laughs> all right so real quick as uh eight of unofficial um uh, unhumble uh, aggression uh translator my man said crooked eye already told him he was official you motherfuckers better stick the game up <laughs> um, he didn't already chilled and drunk Kool Aid with Royce the Five Nine, so you motherfuckers are already behind. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately, um, they trying to kick us off here in about twenty minutes, and I don't want the people to not get the final say. So what I do want to say is um, two things before I let everybody, you know, do their parting shots and everything. Um, one, I appreciate your time. Brother, um, thanks for having me. No, no, you, 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 no, no, no. Thank you for coming. Um, I always <laughs> tell people this. No, because I tell people this. Um, people don't realize, like I said, your time is precious. And when you have somebody who, you know, is moving and constantly moving forward, trying to make shit happen, for them to give up, you know, an hour of their time is an hour. You know, they could have been doing something else. I don't never, never want nobody to feel like their time is not appreciated on this show. Um, because right. we all know, you know, when you moving and you're trying to groove and you're trying to hit a stride, you know, and, and get some shit accomplished for a day to lose an hour or two, you know, can set you back, you know, a right. little bit. So I never want nobody to feel like we don't appreciate that here because we do. Um, so that's number one. Um, number two, uh, my corny cliche line is once you're here once, you know, you always welcome back. So anytime you need you know, you got something you want to promote. You got something, you know, you're saying you just want to talk to the people. Always sure. welcome. Hit my line. I know. You know what I mean? And we, we, we got you. Um, we say the same thing, DC. I know. <laughs> I, I try to make it. I'd say but, the same uh, shit on mine. <laughs> oh, shit. No, it's not getting off your chest. Sorry. Uh, so it's time for parting shots. You know, that last word before we get out of here. Words of wisdom, pearls, and everything like that. Um... So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start a little different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with my man from the shadows. Um <laughs> trucker Bob, man with the plan, boom. You know what I'm saying? Uh boom, real quick before you go. No, we know we know we're not we're not doing that. There we, we go with the hey. Why is it so that. much hey? No, we're not we're not doing that. No, no, we're not doing that. Well, I'm gonna show it a little differently. Boom, I want to tell you I appreciate you, brother, because you out on a truck, on the road, 
making time for this show. That's dedication to me. That will not be um, overlooked on your employee uh, eval. Uh, monthly review. <laughs> two, <laughs> two free moves. Two free moves. Yeah. Will be overlooked nah. when I do your uh, company eval. I'm let HR know he was on time today. He 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 he, he did his thing. Uh, got a little choppy towards the end, but he know he he's dedicated. He's a hard worker. Um, go ahead, get your parting shot, brother. No nah, man, shout out to you, man. Shout out to Crazy A. Shout out to Chris, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Podcast Lit. I found a new way to go about my shit. So man, go ahead and follow me. It's gonna be some new shit up, some new content up. So go ahead and follow me out, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to my black women. I know y'all seen my post and shit. You know what I'm saying? They took it down, you know. They and I was have. not playing, but I, <laughs> I was not see, this is that's the reason right there. You see, this is the reason I made that post. Because of that right there. But anyways, no. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to move so I just want to say thank everybody y'all in there, man. Thank everybody for I mean, thank you for having me on DC, man. Shout out to everybody y'all watching. Appreciate you. I'm gonna put that again. Put that in your employee review. Oh, um, <laughs> Annie. Ah, you gonna go to her next? I, I'm doing something a little different. I want a career building. You know, team bonding exercise. Team bonding. I want to see if you two can get through a thing without, you know, interrupting each other, which you both have failed. But, you know, nah. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's miserable, but, you know, experiment's still why... going. Go ahead. <laughs> this is why we put us both on this show together. What do you mean? I mean, I separated y'all with a guest, so y'all would be, you know, headbutting each other. No, nah, you put us two on this show because you wanted us to talk shit to each other. Like Team just... building. Yes. I have my way. I'm making him stronger. <laughs> And he just bothered me. I but anyway, um, <laughs> um, y'all already know Savagely Humble is a hard not life podcast every Friday, 8 30 p.m. This Friday, I will have some dope people. Um, I know I probably say that every week, but no, I really would. I got somebody dropped the album actually Monday. I got a guy that actually raps, a director. He's, he's actually directing something on HBO right now. Um, and a uh, uh, couple See, regular, a couple regular of the folks, you know what I'm saying? But um, they rap too. Um, but now uh, um, yeah. So at Friday eight thirty, and then any sneakerheads out there, I'm looking for at least two or three more sneakerheads for my sneakerhead show on Sunday as well. So if you're a sneakerhead, DM me a real sneakerhead, not not you just started 2020 2019. I'm talking about. Your mama gave you all the sneakers and then you transitioned into a sneakerhead. I need y'all. I need you to know what you talk about because we're talking about the era of sneakers. Um, and Brandy, when y'all having that Cleveland prom, I might have to come to Cleveland for that. Holla at me. Casino Royale. Oh, yeah. Holla at me. It's going. She just lied. She ain't coming to Cleveland. Don't listen to her, she ain't coming. Um, How do I want to do this? Chris, talk to the people. All right. You know? <laughs> I'm a, a right. boy. I'm a, I'm a boy. You know I can close it out. Uh, You're not closing tomorrow, it out. Not, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tune in. He's talking about us. Uh, yeah. Uh, tune in tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitch handle Blurred's Eye View 1. We are talking cancellations and maybe a couple people returning from some defunct shows. And plus, we're doing a fan cast for Fantastic Four. We're doing our favorites that we might want to play the the roles of the titular Fantastic Four. So tune in for that. Uh, You can also catch us Tuesday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, Uh, same channel, uh, and YouTube. uh, He said it. Titties. 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 Mm -hmm. (laughs) I do love me some titty sprinkles. That's the mark. Indeed. Rewind the uh, clock. We go again. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Chris, Uh, I had to be in them comments for that one, because it's Oh, sure. you, we, real we quick, because I'm not I, even closing this out. I want, I'm, I want eight to be able to um, do his thing. So, I have really nothing else to say other than, um, I mean, I've been, I've been speaking for like the last week. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going on a show called Comics Life with Comics, Comics on Life, Comics on Life. Sorry, um, no, it's because it has he has two different. But anyway, it's it's a show out of Pittsburgh. Um, I'm not a comic, but I was asked to be on, so I'm expanding my horizons. Um, also, uh, like I said, I want to thank all you guys for being here. Um, doing your thing, very extra special to me. Um, last week, if you guys don't know, we broke a Guinness World Record, so 
Yeah. Call us world, world record breaking podcasters, bitch. Is that? Um, hit 100 episodes last week, so this is 101. Hey, yo. Speaking of which, they are bringing back Zoe 101. It's called Zoe 102. I don't know why. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. Is, yeah. is Jamie Lee Spears going to be yeah, in? The whole, yes, the whole original. Oh, kill me now. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, that shit not, was not, like not, when we was kids. Not, not yeah. to miss Chloe. Kill me now. Yeah, but um, that's really all I got, man. I want everybody to, as um, long as you ain't having a bad day like I had, you still can make it. It wasn't PC really day that bad. It was easy. It wasn't that bad. Talking this shit. It wasn't, it, but uh, again, it wasn't that bad. No, you know, nobody got hurt. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? It just was. <laughs> A long time. Somebody almost got fucking hurt. Well, yeah, he did, but he wasn't under my care, so I don't give a fuck. Um, That's his hey, it sounds like a person. My trucker body. brother almost hurt himself or hurt somebody, man. Shout yeah. out to my trucker brother, man. You'll do better, brother. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere else. Um, <laughs> but no, I appreciate you guys. Stay positive. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all love on each other, man, and make sure that you're supporting people um even the strongest people always need support i don't know why people think that we don't or they don't um it's always the strong people who are quiet or the ones you know need the help the most but um in closing it ain't me let's get let's get him up on the main screen here let's spotlight my man eight talk to the people Yo, 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 it's your boy Crazy Eight the Great, Cleveland's own comic book superhero, aka super rap nerd extraordinaire. And I just want to say thank y'all for having me on the show. Thank you to anybody that tuned in outside of here. A uh, special shout out to my homeboy Hen from the job that's always been holding me down. Um, be on the lookout three, three, three days away from this anti hero joint, which might be a teaser to what the new albums will be all about. Um, other than that, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and all the other socials at crazy, the number eight, T H E. Great, it's only one of me, you can't get another. Um, I do movie reviews, show reviews. Um, man i'm doing i'm doing a lot man you know what i'm saying so looking forward to a, a dope 2023 and uh yeah we out of here and the anti-hero finna drop and it's finna melt y'all faces off because i'm i'm at it i'm at you <laughs> all right that's, that's... <laughs> so i'm uh... performing live at coda on the 27th, Friday the 27th, Coda, I believe that is uh, like Tree Mine or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm performing live with Marcus Smith for his uh, single release party. Um, so I will be there doing a full length set. If you're in the area, the ticket link is in my bio. If you don't want to click the bio, hit me in the DM. I'll shoot it to you, whatever. Show up. Let's have a good time. See me live. Meet me in person. So you can see that I am exactly who I say I am. I hope to see y'all there. Y'all won't be doing that. Hold on, let me say something real quick. You said you told them to click the link in the bio, and if they don't want to click the link in the bio, you'll shoot them the link, right? They still yeah. gotta click the link, regardless of which way you they get it. You still gotta <laughs> click don't be lazy. You clicking the link. <laughs> you click the link. Click the link. You, gotta you, man. you gotta work. It'd be that haterade. People a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You got trick. Yeah. But uh, I'm not giving y'all the option. Click the goddamn link. Click the goddamn get the tickets. Link. Get the fucking get to the show and see this man live. But uh, it's been real. Uh, I'm gonna go play some Madden, eat some corn chips and uh, honey buns. Corn chips. Yeah, don't Damn, don't go like barbecue. Meat. Barbecue. I'm a black oh, man, and I got a big ass sprite. But Is uh, it a, the honey twist at least. No, no, no. Barbecue cor- oh. corn chips. I don't eat none of that. This nigga got the real corn, corn chips. This nigga done went to all these and yeah, got it. Yeah, real barbecue <laughs> corn chips, brother. I'm from the hood. We don't do that honey twisted bullshit. Can't get no Fritos, <laughs> no Doritos, uh, no legs. <laughs> 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 you do two big as hell underneath. Yeah. They really just say corn chips. They ain't no brand or nothing. It's just corn chips. This thing is crazy, man. Yeah, no, but no. That's why they that's why they have you on that show, comic show, because you're the comic undercover. But go ahead, uh, my man, bad. You know, I dabble. But no, uh eight, like I said, man, I appreciate your time. 
Um, getting you on the show was, was like I said, was a was a great thing. Um, definitely can't wait for the next. Oh, th- matter of fact, three days. Sorry, three days. Three days. Three, three days. days. It's dropping. Um, so look out for that, y'all. Three days. We'll see y'all next week. We got uh we got an up and coming artist actually. Okay. Um, new to the scene. Um, but you know what the shit. We 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 talk to anybody and everybody. Give everybody a chance. Um, so without further ado, Unless you whack. No. Nah. Well, man, I've had Stop some playing. of those. I've had some of those, but yeah. we're going to y'all with the white girl. White girl. You've been listening to What The Shit, a product of Black Legacy Productions and WMIC Media.